In case you don't have time to rewatch seven seasons of Game of Thrones, here's everything you need to know before the final season begins. On our last visit to Westeros, the Wall, which protected the realms of men for thousands of years, was destroyed by the Night King, riding a zombie dragon, allowing him and his army of 100,000 whites to cross south. But fear not, the King in the North, Jon Snow, and the Mother of Dragons, Daenerys Stormborn Targaryen, are sailing north to fight the dead, head on. They are accompanied by two dragons, the surviving armies of the North, who don't know John bent the knee, an army of Unsullied, the Second Sons, the Wildlings, pretty much all of the Dothraki, Gendry, King Robert's bastard, Varys, our favorite eunuch, Sir Davos, the Onion Knight, and Tyrion Lannister, Daenerys' hand, and the man who drinks and knows things. Also on his way north is the Kingslayer, Sir Jaime Lannister, who in case you forgot, murdered Danny's father by stabbing him in the back and pushed John's brother Bran out of a window. He left his sister slash lover Cersei after discovering she lied to everyone about agreeing to the truce in Westeros, which was struck to fight the army of the dead. She's staying in King's Landing with a supposed baby on the way, no living children or any other real family by her side, which might explain her newfound Mad Queen persona. Fighting for her are the dwindling Lannister armies, the Crown Guard, and the biggest human zombie on Earth. Oh, and Euron Greyjoy, who literally, and figuratively, bent the knee and is now on his way to recruit the 20,000-strong Golden Company from Essos. Little does he know, his nephew Theon isn't too far behind, trying to save his kidnapped sister Yara. Meanwhile, up north in Winterfell, Sansa, the woman who's perhaps been through more than anyone else in the Seven Kingdoms, has been reunited with what's left of her family and is ruling on behalf of Jon. Together, the Stark sisters decided to give Littlefinger a taste of his own medicine, which seems like a fitting end to the man who's had his hand in perhaps more deaths than anyone else in the show. Speaking of the Starks, Arya and her killing list just came back from Bravos, where she honed the art of shape and face shifting, becoming a faceless man. Her brother Bran, who was beyond the wall, became the Three-Eyed Raven and gained the power of green sight, which lets him see the past and present all at once. Both of them haven't seen their brother Jon since the first season. Samuel Tarly also finally made his way to Winterfell after spending seven seasons learning how to beat the White Walkers. Here's the gist. You need one of three ingredients. Dragon glass, Valerian steel, or presumably dragon fire. Lots and lots of fire. Sam's most important discovery came after he met Bran. Together, they confirmed that not only is Jon not a bastard, he's the rightful heir to the Iron Throne. He's Ned Stark's sister's son. His real name is Aegon Targaryen, and in good old Game of Thrones fashion, he just slept with his auntie Danny. But he doesn't know that because, you know, he knows nothing. And that is everything you need to know about Game of Thrones before you watch the final season. Just as excited as we are? Like, comment, and share, and let us know what you think.